earlier i gave velocities in the direction of belt no here i just took the condition where the disk is given velocity perpendicular to the velocity of belt so what conditions will arise is what we have to analyze uh, i i think uh, you should go back to the basics of friction you should really go back to the basics of friction okay let's do one thing uh this is the belt i'll i'll give the plane diagram so that will be easy for you this is a disk of mass m no one end of this this one so what is the velocity of belt vb like this then velocity of the disk i'll call vd okay fine these are symbols i'm using velocity of the disk let it be vd that one and uh, now what is the <coughs> in what direction the friction should act here i'll calculate the relative velocity so what is the relative velocity velocity of the disk with respect to belt is equal to vd minus vb this will be 4j cap minus 3i cap so this will be minus 3i cap plus 4j cap okay look at this uh, how do this vdb this vdb will be directed somewhere in this direction let me take this angle theta this is the velocity of the disk with respect to bell so then according to the definition how the friction should act friction should oppose relative motion no? so shall i show that friction opposite to this vdb this is what by the platform on the disk uh, on the on the platform on the platform it should be in this direction i i i, I don't have space here i'm showing it here uh, this is this f is what by the platform on the disk or by the belt on the disk what is this f <laughs> by the disk on the belt we are not bothered i'll apply force on the belt in such a way that the velocity of belt will be constant so this you don't bother the force will be exerted on the belt such a way that the velocity of the belt will be constant and some external force will be acting on that we need not to bother if telling constant speed vb it's understood over some external force will be acting on the belt which will see that the velocity of belt will remain constant okay got this so i think now we got some very good information uh no uh, uh let's go for the the other thing so what is the cos theta will try to find out here because that angle is very important so this should be minus 3 i cap plus 4 j cap no so this will be 3 this will be 4 this will be theta so this should be i think 5 so cos theta will become 3 by 5 with vertical okay so some changes are there let me define cos theta so this will be 4 with vertical i should draw no <coughs> this is theta this is phi i am trying to get get this one so what is cos theta will be 4 by 5 sin theta will be 3 by 5 let's come for this one how to calculate the uh, uh, like a uh, some time so it's telling now first we'll go for time taken by the disk to come to rest on the belt Let, let's understand because this parameter will be very important for us time taken by the disk to come to rest on the belt b t okay i have to calculate this t uh, finally what when the block will come to rest with respect to this one no? so looking at this diagram zero equal to initial velocity is how much what is the velocity of the so shall i call this vdb as vr relative velocity so vr 
minus acceleration into t. How to calculate that retardation? The retardation a equal to f by m mu mg by m equal to mu g. So what is mu? 0 0.5. 0 0.5 into 10. How much it is? 5 meter. So I'll substitute here. What is vr value? 5. And what is the retardation? Retardation will be 5 into t. So after one second, in fact, the this will come to rest with respect to the platform. Okay, now, uh, what is VR value? I think from the vector VR will be Okay, fine. So there's the value of VR. Okay, let's I got the time 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 taken by the this to come to rest with respect to belt. Okay, after this, uh, what is the distance it will move? Can we calculate distance also? I think the same formula S is equal to VR T minus A T square. So what is this is distance moved by the India and I'll write it. VR value we know 5 into 1. This will be 5, 1 square by 2, 2.5 meter. And what I should call this distance moved by disk with respect to belt. So how do it will move? It will move in the direction of VD we know. So here, here I'll, I'll go for the vector diagram. This is the width of the belt. This is the width of the belt. The belt is moving. So it started from here. So here it will come to the rest that one. Let, let's assume that. This is theta. This, this is what the distance is. And, and <coughs> this is the width is asking. So do we know theta as yes, we know theta? Okay, got this. So somewhere what will happen? L let it come to rest with respect to that. That this will start at A and let it come to rest at other end of the this one. So we know theta, we know S. So what is this path? Now what you should call this one? So shall I call this is the path with respect to belt? So then can we calculate now cos theta equal to W by S? or w equal to s into cos theta. What is the value of s? 2.5 cos theta 4 by 5. How much it is? 2 meter. I'll slide it down. So this is the width of the belt here. This will be your answer. What is asking? What will be the minimum width of belt so that the disc always remains on the belt? Because what time it will come to rest? What time it will come to rest here? And now you can ask question, sir. How you can how you assumed this condition? Because it's asking that minimum no, at least what when the block should not fall off the belt. So just when it reaches the other edge of the belt, if it comes to rest, I think that'll be sufficient. No, So therefore this should be the minimum width I'm taking. So this will be path with respect to belt. So now let's come forward. I got the answer two meter. This is a thing. So this is two meter. This is over. What about the, what can you predict regarding the path of this path of the disc with respect to belt or pen will be a straight line. You can see from diagram. What about <coughs> with respect to ground with respect to ground how it will be if there's a belt it is moving like this uh, what about the path of the disc anybody out how, how to predict that path 
So let, let's take the disk here. There's a disk, no? Uh, what, what is the velocity of the disk given like this? How the friction? Friction will act in this direction. Uh, now, now you know projectile motion. Tell me like, uh, how do it move? A component of friction will try to decrease the velocity of the disk. And a component of friction will accelerate, no? So what is the path? Path will be parabola. The path of the disk with respect to ground will be parabola. Sir, on what basis you are saying? See, component of friction will act opposite to velocity of disk. That will try to decrease. That will try to decrease velocity of the disk. And other component of friction, what happen? Will make it to accelerate? No, it is similar to like projectile motion. Horizontal velocity remains constant, and the other component, or if there is acceleration along x and y, still it be parabolic path. So this will be the path of the disk here. Okay, so that's an, it's not a big problem. Only thing is you should have the relative diagrams very clearly.